So we have three papers today. And the first one is Empowering Farmer and Agricultural Ecosystem, a walkthrough approach on defining social innovation of the eight villages platform. It's by Ibu Tri Sulis Tianing Astuti from the School of Government and Public Policy in Indonesia. So uh, Ibu Tri, as usual, the presentation time is maximum 20 minutes and then we'll have 10 minutes or more depending on when you finish the presentation. So silakan Ibu. Okay, thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me share my screen first. Can you see my screen? Is it my voice or do yes. Yep, it okay. looks good. Maybe you uh, just use the slide, okay. the full screen option. Okay, okay. Then we start. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much for having me in this conference. Uh, I'm Teresa Listianing Astuti from the School of Government and Public Policy Indonesia. Today, I will present my research with title Empowering Farmer and Agricultural Ecosystem, a walkthrough method approach on defining social innovation of egg village platform. The research was start with my curiosity and also worries about agriculture sectors in Indonesia. According to BPS, agriculture is the third biggest contributor to Indonesia economy after manufacturing and trade. And it also absorbs workforce around uh, 29.70, uh, or it contribute to three biggest number, uh, highest number in Indonesia. Despite its contribution, it seems like a paradox with the decreasing number of people working as farmers. The BPS also stated that the number of farmers in Indonesia is getting lower every year. The question is why the number is decreased. Uh, a study from Susilawati in 2016 found that the shrinking agricultural land, less prestigious image, and also not earning enough or income is become the main reason why young people do not want to be a farmer. The lack of farmer income also comes uh, from the middleman trap, the rise of processes, food, climate change, and lack of investment, and also the pandemic. At the same time, uh, sorry, at the same time, Indonesia experience at the same time Indonesia experienced the lack of extensive worker. According to Ministry of Home Affairs Indonesia, there are more than uh, uh, 24,000 civil servants as agricultural extension worker, or we call it as Panyulu Pertanian, serving for more than 74,000 villages in Indonesia, so that Indonesia still lack of uh, about uh, more than 50,000 agriculture extension worker. However, with the development of technology, the Ministry of Agriculture hopes that uh, the, uh, it can change the perspective paradigm of the younger generation towards the agricultural sectors. This expectation is actually in line with the internet penetration in Indonesia because in 2019, it reached more than 37 3% penetration in Indonesia. Taking advantage of that momentum, so there are, there are many uh, agricultural innovation uh, like a uh, application. The example is technological innovation by the government like uh, Itani, cyber extension, Sapa Mektan, uh, and from the, from the non-government institution like a uh, desa application from Universitas Gejah Mada, Petani and Regopantas Egg Village and other e-commerce in agriculture like, uh, uh, like uh, Tani Hoop, Sayerbok, and uh, etc. So my focus of research is to discover the social innovation values on the app of Petani and Review Pantas. So the question is, why is social innovation is important? Because one of the key of social innovation is sustainability. So it will bring the sustainability into the agriculture uh, business and sectors. So here is it, uh, I present some of definition of social innovation, but I will use the Pepsi definition because it cover all, all the 
address of definition. First characteristic of value is first new, and the second is need social needs. Three is put into practice, and then engage and mobilize mobilize beneficiaries, and the last one is transfer social relation. So, uh, sorry. So my research will do with a walkthrough method to the apps Petani and Rogopantas. Petani and Rogopantas is an application uh, from X Village platform. Uh, the X Village version itself is get award in 2017 and also in 2020 as an ICT company that support the sustainability uh, sustainable development goal. Uh, First in 2017 with Lisa, they and Lisa it's transformed into Petani. And in 2018, uh, Egg Village become Indonesia representation for Sebit in Australia. They exhibit Rogopantas. And also Petani here have a uh, different uh, features. They uh, they include the information about the weather, uh, calendar tanam, and also uh, a price reference from the Ministry of of uh, of trade as a credible source and one of the study from suyudi said that the this uh, petani also reach about uh, uh in 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 white district in indonesia so from the well through before we assess the app we have to complete the expected environment, its efficient operating model and governance. And I found it all in the Petani and also Rogopantas. So let's move on to the, what is we do in the walkthrough? There is a three common step here. First is registration and entry. In registration, uh, we will describe and analyze, especially in welcome screen and uh, registration stages. So after doing uh, exploration on, on the beginning, it found that the Petani apps uh, in contain five values. It's a new because it's combining information access with market. It also meets social needs because it's providing agricultural knowledge and market access. Also, it put into practice. It's easy to register only name and by mobile phone. It doesn't need an, an email. And also it engage and mobilize beneficiaries because it offer discussion, discussion forum to agriculture expert. And the last is transform social relation because it is giving access to marketplace, but there is a, a lack of here because uh, the provider is give a lack attention of privacy policy and also term of condition. There is no click button to agree so that it make the user less aware about their data privacy. This is from the Rogopantas welcome screen. It it not much contain the uh, social inefficient value because the application is not new. There are many similar applications. And, uh, and also the concern is happen also in term condition and privacy policy. They don't give a pay much attention about that. And the second one is the stages is everyday use. This is how we explore each button, how we uh, take, the, take a look into the features. And after several trying, uh, I found that it contain of new values, meet social needs, put into practice, engage and transform social relation. And the three common step in walkthrough is become the hinder for achieve the social innovation values because uh, technical problem in assessing app will contribute to closure and leaving the apps. It can manifest into user reluctant to use the application so that the vision of Egg Village to, for empowering farmer and agricultural ecosystem is not achieved. I found difficulties to find whether the problem of closure and leaving here from my gadget or my internet, but then I find a uh, discussion in the discussion forum in Patani here that the there is a trouble in application too. And I found it also in a comment in Google Play Store that there is a problem in closure and leaving here. So what is the limitation of walkthrough method? This walkthrough method is 
uh, avoid the interaction within the user. So I, I, I use a dummy account as myself, but I avoid to interact with them. So the problem is here is find that researcher cannot ensure and anticipate the effect of app user who is Petani and Dogopantas according to unrecommended procedure. So they maybe they just live without clothes or something that may be effect on the assessment. But there is a tips too that the researchers should examine, examine other application of the explicit platform related to agriculture. So I try to involved in data, data Nikuso also to find the vision, governance, and operating model. And the second one is the dummy account might be disturb users since they may want to interact because it avoids interaction. So it's, it is create difficulties to assess the everyday use in buying and selling activities in Patani and Dagupantas. Uh, I found myself uh, contacted by others users that really a farmer they want to discuss about their plan and and seeds but i can respond it because i'm not part of that community so what is the conclusion of this research so in general patani and regopantas contain social innovation value so that it can contribute to solving reduce interest in becoming farmers and increase farmer earning because it ensures social need with new apps user friendly for farmer it's simple one engage and mobilize farmer as beneficiaries with question and answer forum in question and answer forum i found that it's not more than a community of farming it's become a, like a community that symbolize their care each other like in, in this pandemic the most frequently common is be, uh, is the statement of how are you how is your condition during the pandemic and the second one is farmer give, are given the space to decide price without in the, without intermediaries so there is a choice to fa for farmer not to use a middleman and we can ex they can access to direct market that will be beneficial for rural that come in remote area. So it also empower farmers with knowledge from fellow farmers and experts. Uh, and the bulletin article video is also put into practice with videos that easily to 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 apply. Uh, maybe in the past it's a little bit difficult to farmer in the village to directly consult their problem with the economician in UGM or expert in, in agriculture, but with these apps, they have the opportunity to do that. However, the walkthrough method also performs some limitation in Regupantas and uh, Patani analysis in avoid, since it is avoid user interaction, uh, especially, uh, and it also, the walkthrough is also perform limit because there are some of, uh, especially in payable account uh, like a doing a buy and selling we have to do real time transaction but i'm not doing because it it made an interaction with other users so the recommendation for this study is it is necessary to accommodate social innovation value in apps that similar to petani and Rakupantas in order to meet the social need of community and maintain a business sustainability and the second one is uh, further research is needed to assess petani and Rakupantas impact to the, the, to the beneficiaries to prove whether this app affect the young people interest in being farmer and increasing income for agricultural sectors. Actually, there is a, like a, another method in walkthrough, like a cognitive method is a participatory for user. So it will be uh, additional research for complete this research. Thank you so much for the attention. Uh, I will take any question, if any. Thank you so much. The floor is yours for moderator. Thank you. Thank you for um, keeping to the time. And we actually have plenty of time for Q&A. So I'd like to uh, invite everyone again to contribute to the discussion. You can do that through one of two ways. You can click the raise hand function you can find it underneath your uh, screen and then you can post your question or comment directly or you can also write it in the chat box 
and um, the speaker presenter can answer directly or later if there is no time can answer it uh, in written form right now i don't see any oh i see two raised hands uh first one is from michelle andrina from smeru and then the next one is ibu lila rahman Ningtias. uh michelle uh, go ahead yeah thank you bu lydia uh thank you you too bu, uh, bu aning it's really interesting to know there is such app that reach out to the farmers and when you do the literature study do you know the profile of the user too much? whether they are located in a certain area probably only in big city probably i i, I want i'm curious about that whether they are young farmers and the second one when you do the walkthrough method do you have any suggestion how to improve the app for example what features do you think still needed to be there in the rego pantas or Botani? yeah that's two from me thank you man okay okay before you answer that maybe we take another one from yeah, thank you Lila. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, greetings, Sulistia Ningsi uh, and Ibu Nabitupulu. Um, I have a question: How to how you can uh, institutionalize this uh, formulation? I mean, sometimes we work with the social capital is hard if we not institutionalize formally institutionalize them into one uh, what is tough institution. Um, do you have any barrier or do you see any future uh, opportunity to do that? Thank you. Okay, so maybe two questions. Um, these two questions first. Ibu, Tri, silakan. Okay, thank you so much. Um, Michelle, I do a literature review about the who used the application of Patani and Ragupantos. It's mostly is old people, age, uh, farmer that already aging but uh, but there are some youngster also and based on the use so you did studies like i mentioned previously that it's um achieve more than uh, let me it in, in, in white number sorry i can't find it uh, or oh, what num number of area and from from the all uh from the all application that i that I compare from Menteri Pertanian and Petani, it found that Rogo Petani has more user than Pertanian. The Egg Village have the study about that, but I'm sorry, I can put it in here. Okay. And the second one is uh, about what my suggestion to the provider. Yes, there is a in everyday everyday use in stage two, I found that uh, the button is not represent all the features like in profile button in the last button. Actually, the pro it's include the information about the weather, about the price, about the uh, planting calendar that it's supposed to be in different buttons because actually that is the core that is the core of agriculture so it's gonna be a little bit confusing message for the farmer or the user to to see the profile but the feature is more about the agriculture first and the second one is uh the provider should check whether their application is have a box or maybe a technical problem because with seeing through the discussion forum and also doing a registration and login and relogin, something happened and not only to me, but to many users. So they can improve their, their maybe uh, operating model and also their system and maybe make it more simpler. Like a Patani, maybe for Patani is difficult to create email. It's more simpler if it just hand phone number, phone number. Thank you, Mami Michelle. Is that answer your question, Mami Michelle? Yeah, um, yeah. It's surprising to hear that you say the old people, old farmer use it more. But <laughs> thank you so much. And for Bulila, yes, Bulila. Uh, 
actually Bu, ministry of information and communication have a big concern about this application so in their website they recommend uh, some of the application for agriculture and one of them is patani and and also i agree with you Bu, that it's gonna be hard to uh, achieve the vision to get young people to be a farmer if not institutionalized mm, so it actually the ministry of agriculture and ministry of trade understand about it so they collaborate with patani as far as i know they collaborate with patani as a provider content so far but now the to do that more give a wide impact i think they should should uh, um, increase in volume and quality of their extension worker book. With their extension worker uh, quality and also the volume, they, it's gonna be easy to spread the digitalization in the rural area because uh, digitalization, it cannot doing by themselves. Maybe they need a tutor to do that. I think that's what, thank you so much. Is that answer your question, Bulila? Thank you very much. Thank you, great uh, questions. I don't see any raised hands and um, nothing yet in the chat box. So I'll take this time to post my, my own question. Uh, it's always surprising to me how many applications are out there and um, that people use them. Uh, but in terms of farming, I understand that the way that farmers um, product, uh, for many things, for getting assistance from, from the government and from uh, for extension, et cetera, they're in groups. So uh, how is this? I understand that this application is being used by individuals. How does it, it uh, impact the way they work as a group? Yeah, kan? Kelompok tani, uh, is usually the way um, farmers are grouped, whether it's small or large. So is this uh, application having an impact, um, for example, and um, in, uh, I'm interested to know if they discuss the information uh, from the application amongst themselves and sort of um, maybe as a peer review of the information on the application and whether they give feedback to the information that is given in the application. Uh, yes, but the discussion forum is very active because the Patani make like a word who and make a list who the most active participant and make a recognition in the screen that this petani is the most active one, the most commented one, the most responded one. And for, for the forum itself, there is no intervention from the, from the provider, from X Village or other parties, but for the content, there is a discussion also from the post, like uh, X Village uh, provide tip and tricks. They will pass to the expert and the expert will enter to the platform and about the group of farmers it become a concern also from ministry of agriculture so the extension worker penyulut pertanian actually work with the leader of kelompok tani so that's why i said that it needs to improve their capability and volume to get in touch more and to make assistance give assistance to the kelompok tani itself uh, however, Bu, there is a problem that during this pandemic, uh, it can do business as usual. So the application here is one of the way to deliver the knowledge and also the vision of government to sustainable agriculture. Bu. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to hear that about this forum. I Yeah, it, it's also... Uh uh i think a way of building social capital through the forum that they can interact with other groups and maybe other uh, leaders the leaders that they identify so uh i'd like to invite uh everyone here if you would like to post a question or give a comment uh it's not 
only question, but something that you can uh, mention uh, in, uh, in terms of uh, comment uh, as input for further research or uh, to give more context to to the study. Uh, I I think the session here is uh, very broad on agriculture and environmental uh, conservation. I guess sustainable development. Do you see some changes in the way that? already farmers are implementing some of the uh, tips in the application for conservation rather than increasing productivity, farming productivity, but also a broader discussion about conservation of uh, resources, for example. Is that something so, that is being discussed in the group or are the tips also include this information and how are the farmers responding to it? Yes, surprisingly, Bu, I get generating all the discussion and they very, very active. And one of the most topic that commented and likes is about the fertilizer, organic fertilizer. I think that's a very good breakthrough because it's, we know that it's more sustainable for our environment and it keeps too, because they have yeah. in their life, like a farmer is, they, they also have a cow and there is a tip that how to make a uh, fertilizer from the cow, uh, I, I don't know what's called cow and um, from the chicken, something like that. And also there is a tip that, you can ferment some of the uh, product, agriculture product that make the product is longer because our farmer is like a uh, produce a fresh product and, and, and it's easily to get rotten. So that's two subject is become the main topic of discussion of the farmer, not only cultivating the land, but how to make their product is life longer to increase their income. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, it's good to hear. Um, very, in, very interesting. And thank you for bringing up this topic uh, to all of us. Um, we are nearing the end of the session for the first paper, but if you still have some questions or comment, feel free to write it in the chat box. Uh, Bibutri, I assume we'll still be here and can, uh, uh, respond to your comments. So let's move to the next paper um, entitled Thoughts and Understanding of the Ethical Commitment to Sustainable Farming Practices, the case of Kintamani Bali Arabica Coffee uh, uh, with Ibulila Rahman Ningtias from Universitas Erlanga, um, co-authored by uh, Professor so, Ibu uh, Lila, the time is yours. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm trying to share my screen then. So, the topic is coffee, something that we need mm -hmm. at this hour. Yeah, jam berbahaya. So, I've got okay. a big mug oh, of okay. my coffee. I'm not sure it's Arabica, though. It's lots <laughs> of sugar. Yeah. It is readable. Yes, book. We can see. I think we have to sw swap. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. For you, for the audience yep. also. Audience. Looks good. Okay. Yeah, audience also. I have my gadget on the right of me, so if you're you see me looking down like yeah. this, is like looking at my other gadget yeah. as a. I see your I see your name two two names. Yeah, ada <laughs> <Okay>. dua. <laughs> Okay, All right. thank, you. thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm live here uh, for my flat in Germany. Um, I would like to share uh, our little project, part of my dissertation uh, about uh, geographical indication schemes, the opportun market opportunity of our coffee. Uh, the title of this paper is uh, Toward an Understanding of the Ethical Commitment to Sustainable Farming Practice. Um, before we go forward to into detail, I would like to share you the structure of uh, the paper, the presentation. 
Uh, first, uh, we include the motivation, research question, and of course, novelty of this paper. All methods used in this study also can, uh, can also be seen. Data sources, description, and also I will discuss the result, whether all in accordance to the situation on the field. Then I will close the presentation with conclusion of this study. Okay, um, this research was motivated by the global ethical sourcing consideration in the coffee industry. Uh, the situation has been motivated by the, the rise of connoisseur consumer, which dominated by the age of uh, the productive age of maybe we can say like a millennial or a, a generation, next generation. Uh, according to the NCA, um, yeah, I just read it, that uh, uh, these young people uh, consume around uh, 50 until 60% compared uh, per, cup, uh, per, 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 per day compared to uh, drinking at least uh, one cup of coffee fast. And, and this potential market will, will increase so far and then we also knew that now we are in the new wave of coffee that consumer consider on high quality, cultural value, geographical indication, and environment. Uh, this uh, trends has been catched by the uh, developed country uh, by developing a new regulatory of sustainable production and consumption. There are many sustainable, in, in the way of coffee schemes, there are many coffee schemes like an external coffee scheme like a fair trade, 4C, organic cafe, Starbucks, and now the issue of uh, geographical indication of origins will be uh, a good niche market in the future. Then what is geographical indication of origin? Uh, we can see back to the trade of related aspect of intellectual and property rights, uh, which is uh, the foundation of GIS development. Uh, it defined that GIS are trademark collective property. So it's not um, part of uh, trade scheme, but trademark. And then it represents connecting locality, territory of actor, social and cultural, and of course, traditional uh, practices, traditional farming practice. Why ethical consideration should be uh, widely adopted by this? We, we see again by uh, with the, uh, what is the motivation of this development, which is to protect a specific attribute of quality and reputation, and then creating a new market, alternative market, I can say like that. And we also can improve accessibility to sustainable farming practice, generating, of course, later on, we can generate premium income opportunity. In the macro uh, goals, we can go back to the sustainable development goals. Some study has proved that um, this, uh, uh, this market can be uh, advantage for, uh, to support sustainable development goals. Our case, Kintamani Arabica Coffee, KBAC, uh, is the first this agriculture product of Indonesia. Uh, it developed uh, based on local wisdom, sustainable farming practice. I can, we can see like that, sustainable farming practice. So this is, is a good point. And then based on religious and cultural philosophy of Balinese people, which is Trihat, Trihita Kirana, harmony of uh, human being, nature and environment and God, and traditional farming group unique traditional farming group that adhere the value of philosophy Triheta Karana Suba Abian. So KBAC works not only represent local geography, but also farmer intention to sustainable agriculture practice. Considering 
the issue of uh, ethical sourcing consideration in the coffee industry, it is crucial to scrutinize ethical commitment to implement sustainable farming practice. However, there is still limited study on farmers' ethical commitment. And then some study on farmer ethical commitment mostly focus on ethical sourcing traceability aspect. For example, like uh, from traders' point of view, so it's not from farmer side, but from trader side, and empirical limited number of studies in agriculture uh, studies. Yeah. By understanding ethical commitment to implement sustainable uh, farming practice, we uh, we can uh, give some uh, policy recommendation later on for maintaining farmer participation uh, in sustainable uh, schemes, and then we can we can also design appropriate scheme for farmer, develop more internalized uh, scheme and effective scheme, and strategize to improve farmers' livelihood. Uh, that's from empirical gaps. Now uh, I would like to give you a theoretical gap. Um, maybe some of you that studies on uh, supply chain analysis or maybe on cognitive uh, marketing cognitive, you see many studies use uh, utility maximization, theory reaction action, and theory plan behavior is already. Uh, uh, broad analysis about that, especially in agriculture, but only few of them cover uh, farmers' moral development and psychological attachment. Uh, meanwhile, despite infrequent exercise in agriculture study, uh, this study only include in studies with the business organization as theoretical foundation and interpersonal uh, relationship. Uh, to close this gap uh, from the study result, um, oh yeah, to, to close this gap, we want to analyze farmers' moral development, psychological attachment, and KBAC participation contribution to farmers' ethical commitment to sustainable farming practice. Okay, uh, the variable of interest of this study is farmers' ethical commitment. It's yes, seems very uh, idealistic, yeah? But uh, let's make it simple. Farmers' ethical commitment is commitment to sustainable farming practice because we, we if we say ethic, ethic means you do it right. You not do it in wrong. You do it uh, based on the rule, based on the value of uh, local value. That's a simple, simple, uh, very simple definition. So I, I, I took for granted a uh, farmer's ethical commitment is commitment to, to sustainable farming practice, which is implementing manure, organic, organic pesticide, relying on bean quality, uh, considering wet processing, applying pruning, and crop covering. And then uh, to fill the gap of theoretical foundation as a uh, to develop of uh, what is a theoretical framework, we use a theories of investment model scale and interactionist model. Interacts uh, investment model scales is based on a dependency between high satisfaction, high investment, and low alternative. An interactionist model. Uh, defined by uh, moral development, which is uh, de uh, described by ethical orientation and self-identity. And other is um, like a situational factor, individual factor, as a basic like a control variable for uh, to integrate this model. So I want to make it simple by uh, uh, yeah, developing this figure like this, but the general hypothesis of this study, maybe it seems complex in my paper, but as a general hypothesis, commitment is affected by the process of uh, dependency of uh, moral development here, and then uh, the process of dependency. Okay. Um, 
in order to establish uh, the study objective, we apply a uh, household survey, 300 coffee farmers. We gather this number from a uh, gamma exponential distribution calculation. We get 200, but 300 is maybe better. Yeah, I believe it's better it's because more of sample is minimum is good. And then um, uh, the household survey, yeah, the, we use a structured question that transfer into computer assisted personal oh, interviewing yeah. programs, CAPI. Yeah. And then the structured question includes social demographic, information, yeah. for farm, farmer, uh, 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 external factor, and then some moral development factor that uh, develop based on Likert scale option. PLS, maybe some of you, you know PLS. PLS is uh, aimed to maximize the explained variant of indigenous variable uh, and the key influencing factor on our target construct. Okay, time running for very fast and I want to skip, maybe this, this just descriptive uh, and want to show you the representativeness of uh, our sample. The important here is here that um, mainly a farmer uh, respond has a high, uh, strong or high commitment uh, based on um, yeah, male, formal education, and then farm active capacity and farm intensity. And then uh, from the response to what commitment, it is not necessary that, uh, yeah, maybe it can show you that most farmer have a high ethical commitment, but it is not necessary that this variable can influence the commitment. We need a further analysis for that. Yeah, for uh, um, analysis. There is yeah. uh, Ibu Lila, sorry to interrupt, but I thought mm -hmm. uh, there is an uh, interesting question. Yeah. Is there any coffee farmer in this research really implementing sustainable farming practices? Yeah. So from your description, uh, there is ethical commitment, but do they mm -hmm. really implement sustainable farming practices? Yeah, so I define the ethical commitment based on they do, uh, they conduct the code of uh, procedure of Kintamani Alabi Kakafi, which means that they keep applying pruning. They continue uh, doing a cherry picking, for example, like that, co uh, committing a manure. And then, yeah, this is only statistical, uh, simple statistical description that most farmer have an ethical commitment by calculating agree and strongly agree to conduct um, uh, this uh, code of product, uh, code of pro, uh, procedure of KBAC. But how we can see from uh, further analysis using PLSM, then, yeah, maybe we can skip this one because uh, just to show you that our uh, calculation, our data are valid and reliable for further analysis by analyzing outer loading of measure indicator on the Latin construct. So I check the internal consistency, convergent validity, discriminant validity, all meet uh, the threshold of for the outer loading, the valid outer loading. And for uh, internal uh, evaluation, this is very important. It seem like uh, we do a regression analysis. Um, for, for the first indicator that we see from uh, stone geyser Q square here, check, uh, meet the predictive relevant, and then R square also meet the moderate predictive accuracy. And how about the path analysis here? Uh, this is the important thing that we can evaluate the structural model, which was developed based on theoretical and empirical literature derived from hypothesis. Um, yeah. Uh, so, and then uh, this, maybe we can like also uh, discuss to the, uh, in the discussion part that um, in the path analysis, commitment to sustainable farming practice uh, was influenced by direct effect 
by investment, self-identity, and expected relationship, satisfaction, ethical orientation, and alternative to commitment. This is direct effect. So the intention, uh, so the commitment was uh, influenced by those indicator. When we generate one by one, for example, like investment here, investment to commitment sustainable uh, practice. This is from the highest and significant variable. Uh, investment here represent all effort and resources that have been allocated to achieve expected outcome. Yeah, for example, like, like long-term period of cooperation as super avians, time, money that have been invested, emotional attachment. Uh, so this is important for, uh, variable to affect commitment. But when we distinguish between member and non-member, here non-member has higher effect compared to, uh, to member. So non-member has a higher investment to influence commitment to sustainable farming practice rather than a uh, member. This is very interesting. And then the second highest uh, variable is expected relationship. Expected relationship uh, uh, described as individual can be more committed because they are confident to receive happiness from their future relationship. So this means that farmer higher expected rewards or happiness in the future relationship of participating in current market channel lead to higher ethical commitment to sustainable farming practice. Again, when we distinguish between member and non-member, non-member has higher effect compared to member. So yeah, surprisingly, then this, a variable expected relationship is a key moderator to connect investment size here and then satisfaction. And how about the third variable? The third variable that influence highly influenced commitment is self-identity. Self-identity mean the salient uh, information, salient value for, for farmer. Uh, Surprisingly here that uh, Balinese farmers characterized by produ productivist identity. This means that productivist uh, farmer has particular concern of for economic productivity and employment. This is um, attributable from gender role. Yeah, of course, it traditionally male-headed um, farmers dominated uh, in the coffee farmer rather than a uh, woman. So this is traditional value. And then the sa satisfaction here. Satisfaction here uh, means the access to information, training, market, and transaction uh, provided by local government other institution and then also suba abian and community of geographical indication also influence uh, the commitment. Uh, the fifth uh, variable is ethical orientation. Ethical orientation may the um, yeah this characterized by farmer favors right based policy and justice based policy. Uh, right based policy means that farming practice should result more benefit without interfering uh, social value or moral value. This means this is related with the value of cultural religious system of Subahapian, of Trihita Karana. So it's very rooted, but it's not too strong. And then quality alternative, negative quality alternative. Um, also affect uh, commitment. This is a farmer have a potential issue for not committing in the sustainable farming practice. We can see here because of the reason of alternative market for coffee. Yeah, of course we know that the price of coffee is very fluctuated. And then if they see a higher price outside uh, the KBAC scheme, they willing to go to uh, alternative market and because they provide also better matter, uh, better market opportunity and maybe financial service. Um, yeah, I think time is up. Um, 
uh, what's this? I would I would like to just to sum up here. Uh, very complex here. That first of all, that uh, the important thing is here, KBSC membership not necessarily has contribution to farmers' ethical commitment. It can be shown that non-member have higher commitment, not non-member uh, uh, expected, uh, what is, uh, expected orientation and then investment higher to influence uh, commitment rather than uh, member. So this can be a, what is a big, big uh, issue for us, especially for uh, Kintamani Arabica coffee. Maybe I can open the floor for, you can help us uh, to open the floor for discussion. And I'm about your ear. Thank you very much, uh, Ibu Nabitopulu. Thank you, Ibu Lilat, for the presentation. Very interesting to hear that Kintamani Coffee is the first, um, uh, what, what is that, do you call it the uh, GI in Indonesia? I see one hand up. So before we take that question, I just like to remind if there's anybody who's still new to the uh, conference, you can use either the raise hand feature to ask yourself uh, to uh, raise hand uh, uh, and then we'll call on you to ask your, your question directly, or you can write it in the chat box like uh, uh, previously someone already but Ibu Amrita already uh, wrote the question uh, the chat box is good if you want to ask something uh, really very quick yeah uh, cl uh, clarification type question so the first uh, question from Ibu Tri Sulistianing silakan Ibu thank you Lila. Like thank you Bu Lila yeah. yeah thank you Bu Lila for yes please for very interesting presentation bu i have a question here bu is still related with my presentation is in your research bu is there any different different response from the farmer that in specific age that like young age or old age that into the commitment to sustainability farming bu is that any difference between their age so, and the second one is who is the leader of kbac is that uh, they compose it composed from the like uh, tokoh adat tokoh agama or something that that have legitimate from the Bali peoples there. Thank you, Bu. Yeah, yeah, very, very good question. It's also related with the uh, Saras in the chat, yeah, Saraswati's question about um, is there any really uh, coffee farmer in this research related, uh, really implementing sustainable farming practice? Yeah, um, it's hard to say that. Um, if we want to go back the standard of sustainable farming practice in the code of procedure, procedure of uh, Kintapani Arabica coffee. So here, like every cheese, every cheese has a code of pra practice or, or code of conduct to implement sustainable farming practice. The way they do, the way they farm, the way they harvest, they have a book of what is a guiding book. So if they do rightly uh, based on the guiding book, we, we can value it that they implement sustainable farming practice. I can be, I can um, say that, yeah, there is some farmer that have intention. I can say that still intention, intention, to implement sustainable farming practice. About decision, it's also interesting between member, non-member itself. Member and member itself, it's not clear whether they also have really keen on, really willingly to implement that sustainable farming practice. But if we back to intention before decision, they have a high intention to implement sustainable farming practice. Yeah. Um, Ibu Tri? And then the Ibu second, Tri. the leader. Uh. Yeah. And there's the second, the leader of uh, KBAC, yes. Um, in Indonesia, yeah. It's easy with Indonesia. Community geographical indication or, or masyarakat geographical indication. 
every every single area uh, that have a kiss area they have their own masyarakat indication geography i talked to the uh uh what is that uh, the geographical history also the geographical indication in indonesia uh, the coordinator of geographical indication indonesia and also uh, in the ministry of law um they have they have to have a masyarakat indication geography but sadly this mpik we say we can say mpik this mpik uh yeah cannot cannot support them uh to what is to develop to what is to establish what what farmer wants for example like implementing sustainable farming practice uh providing them uh, providing farmers with market this is very, still very weak so still need a uh, development for that because back again to the definition of KISS, this is not the trademark. This is not the trading map. This is only trademark. But I think, I think from my perspective, this trademark can be a niche market in the future. Nowadays, we have a huge market for KISS in Indonesia. I believe so. Thank you for that. If anyone else um, has any questions, we have plenty of time, about four minutes. Um, I'd like to raise some uh, something about non-member uh, being more committed to sustainable mm. practices. I think perhaps mm. there is value in the security, knowing that this uh, geographic indicator is secure. So uh, even uh, now that they it's secure, they have more uh, commitment to it because uh, uh, they feel that, as you mentioned from the uh, survey, for mm -hmm. they know that in the future they uh, they will get gains from this geographic indicator uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, setup. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. to me, it's not as surprising that non-members are more committed. Uh, yeah. Perhaps they initially they didn't think this was a worthy investment, but now that they know that the geographic indicator is set and confirmed, they would like to take advantage of this as well going into the future. So to some extent, uh, maybe it's free rider before they didn't, uh, they weren't involved, but now mm -hmm. that they know there will be benefits from it in the future uh they put on some investment compared to before yeah i see there is in the chat box okay ibu Lila. um we still have two three minutes if ever, anyone would like to raise a question yeah or i just comment on this give you some information um i also um want to uh what is uh tell a very long story about the development of this unique KBAC is not like an other. We hope that KBAC can be a pilot project for others this area in Indonesia. But sadly, KBAC is like, yeah, it's too big to be failed. We can say that we can say that they fail, but they are leader of this in Indonesia. I think because first of all is the institution of Suba Abian itself. Suba Abians is a religion um, farmer organization and also organized uh, in farming activity. I, 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 I believe that the next presenter also maybe hopefully can explain about that. Maybe, uh, yeah. Then maybe, yeah, we, we, we can transform this institution not only as a religious institution, but also they have, yeah have a uh, capacity as a kelompok tani. So Suba Abian is very different than kelompok tani. But we can merge it, what is. We can integrate it between religion and kelompok tani into one Suba Abian. I think, I think uh, the key of uh, this failure is the institution itself. 
Okay, one question from uh, Michelle, maybe if you can answer relatively briefly. How is the pandemic affecting the coffee farmer group and how are they coping? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, yeah, of course, everywhere, everywhere collapse, yeah. Um, but if you see the data, uh, domestic market for coffee, it's very big. If we not oh, what depend on the export, it we still can be safe by trading in the domestic market. I believe so. Of course, based on the data on NCA, the what is the market for coffee uh, has been declining until 70 and 60 percent. So yeah, how they cope it, how they cope it. Yeah, of course, everyone still struggle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Um, thank you for an interesting presentation. Good luck with the rest of um, the research and we look forward to your publication or final uh, publication, Ibulila. Thank you. Thank again. you. So let's move. Thank you. Boom. Thank you. Capital let's room. move to the third paper, also set in Bali. Balinese Indigenous Knowledge About Water, A Way to Achieve Water Sustainability by Amrita Nugrahetni Saraswati from Universitas Brawijaya and also a co-author at Universitas Udayana. Silakan Ibu Amrita. Hello, everyone. Um, such an interesting presentation uh, from Ibu Tri and also Ibu Lila about the uh, digitalization of agriculture and also about our dearest drink, maybe coffee. And I hope also uh, my presentation will be quite interesting for all of you. Uh, I would like to share the screen. Okay. Is it visible? Yes, my presentation is okay. good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And about uh, Ibu Lila said before, the Suba Abian. As far as I know, Suba Abian is um, like traditional organization, indigenous organization about uh, fa uh, farmer. Uh, Abian means ladang. So uh, Suba Abian. Uh, as we can see that uh, it's about water sharing, water sharing between uh, farmers who have uh, ladang, especially maybe in coffee in Ibulila case. So uh, this is about uh, our research. Today, I would like to present about our uh, research here. The title is Balinese Indigenous Knowledge About Water, A Way to Achieve Water Sustainability. Okay, as we know, in today's modern world, production and consumption become more complex, and this is leads to water scarcity due to mismatch between supply and demand of water, and it become uh, became the usual problem in urban society. So it is important to have um, sustainable approaches to solve the complex problems, and uh, this is the critical first step in building is uh, engage community. So uh, building an engaged community is to identify community knowledge about water management. Okay, we have uh, about groundwater issues in Bali. Along with that, before uh, COVID-19 pandemic, Bali has suffered from over tourism. Over tourism here characterized by water shortage, environmental degradation, sanitation issues, overcrowded destination, loss of authenticity, and higher cost of living. Uh, as you can see here, it's like a sample of over tourism in Bali, especially in southern part of Bali. Uh, I uh, 
it has been told as much as 65% of the island groundwater is poured into the tourism industry. As you can see here in this picture, it's uh, in the southern part of Bali, drying up 260 out of more than 400 Balinese rivers. Groundwater over extraction has lowered the island's water table by 60%, risking irreversible saltwater intrusion. As for the Balinese, water is part of a ritual. Water is essential for their ritual-based culture. Water is an entity to complete Balinese everyday life, especially the spiritual aspects that need holy water for rituals. The holy water is obtained uh, um, usually from sacred springs or mata air, or the Balinese say it is as petirtan. A tirta is holy water. The Balinese have procedure to conserve water sources in Bali, both naturally or as a kala and supernaturally or niskala as a part of their religious uh, rituals. Saving water sources uh, with spiritual approach is also carried out through ritual or ceremonies, uh, maybe to the beach or to the lake as uh, part of water sources. So the main purpose of the study is uh, the study intend to confirm the importance of Balinese indigenous community knowledge for water management initiative uh, in this study, uh, the initiative is a willingness to participate in sacred spring pro conservation programs and also provide consideration for policymakers regarding the inclusion of indigenous knowledge elements in policies regarding water resources governance and management. That's the main purpose of this study. Uh, about methodology, we use um, uh, this study was conducted in Sarbagita area, or uh, Sarbagita here is uh, an area consists of uh, Kota Denpasar, Kabupaten Badung, Gianyar, and also Tabanan. Uh, that uh, this area is a tourism buffer area or the center of tourism industry, and it had experienced the effect of over tourism. Uh, the study was conducted from May until June 2021. We employ a combination of multi-stage sampling and basic random sampling. A total of 139 Balinese adults from the Sarbagita district uh, were chosen at random as respondents. We use uh, to analyze the models. We use binary, binary logistic regression because we want to know uh, the willingness to participate from the respondents here, or willingness to participate in conservation program to Sacred Spring. So uh, the model that we use, uh, as you can see here, uh, logic of probability to willingness to participate uh, affect by the method uh, to use in household methods, method uh, if the household the so water supply is limited in that household, so uh, the choice is, is to uh, save water usage beyond need. And the second choice, using water saving tools. Uh, another choice will be reducing behavior that can pollute waterways and also looking for alternative water sources, such as springs, river, and etc. And another um, independent variable here is a uh, residence location. Uh, it's urban, suburban, and also rural area. And the knowledge, the knowledge of uh, the sacred spring. What is sacred spring? Uh, and uh, does the respondent know about sacred spring around their home? The choice is yes or no. And we also use uh, the gender here, gender variables male or female, the membership, membership of indigenous organization in their village, and also water supply limitation. Does respondents ever experience water supply limitation in their household during this year? Uh, is there any or not? So the result and discussion come to, uh, this is the socioeconomic demographic. 
oh, sorry characteristic of the respondent and the willingness to participate in sacred spring conservation program here 78.5 percent is willing to participate and uh, here 12 is 12 point percent uh, stated that they're uh, neutral to the particip to participate in conservation program in sacred springs uh, why we use um, yes and neutral because in our preliminary uh, survey we already uh, gave them a no choices also so it yes no and neutral it's only one uh, this is the interesting part that only one uh, person choose to state it that uh, said no to not participate in conservation program and the other is yes and also neutral uh, that's the interesting part So uh, this is the uh, method to use in household when water supply is limited. As you can see here, 48% uh, uh, is uh, said that they will save water usage beyond need. And, and also uh, they will look for alternative water sources like spring rivers, etc. Uh, the knowledge about sacred spring, 50.4%, uh, uh, they know about the sacred spring and other things that related to that sacred springs. Uh, and the other uh, said that they uh, don't know anything about the sacred spring, maybe sacred spring that located around their uh, home and others. The respondents' attitude here towards groundwater resources or sacred spring conservation. According to the descriptive cross step analysis, there was a significant difference in expressing desire to participate in groundwater or sacred spring conservation programs between persons with knowledge and those without the knowledge. 81 persons or 72.9% who know about water. Uh, were willing to participate in the conservation program. What are here is who have knowledge about the sacred springs compared to the 30 people or 27.1% who expressing the desire but didn't have the same knowledge. Our final results from the binomial regression model of the, the, uh, the Determinant of attitude here, willingness to participate towards groundwater resource conservation are as follows. This is the final results uh, because uh, at the beginning, we already put all the uh, variables, all the variables, but it's not uh, significant. And uh, we came up with this final result with uh, two variables that significant with the willingness to participate in sacred spring conservation program. The variable is a method of uh, method that used when the water supply is limited and also the knowledge of the sacred spring itself. Uh, so these study findings have shown that individual with a poor topic knowledge may also have poor information processing skills or a lack of personal interest in the topic which diminishes the likelihood of information detection and retention this is supported by the study by dean at all uh, 2016 that stated information only engagement initiative that do not address the larger social environment or deliberately target a uh, disengaged subgroup may fail to produce meaningful changes in behavior. Uh, the other factor that needs to be highlighted in this study is the method that used by respondents to overcome the decline of water supply in their household. Multiple water sources are routinely used to supply household water needs in uh, many developing countries, according to uh, reports. 
implementers, development groups, and researchers, on the other hand, tend to focus only on the main source of uh, drinking water. Maybe in Western knowledge, um, the main source, main source of drinking, uh, drinking water is only one uh, water sources, but um, I think uh, Sacred Spring here uh, from our research, Sacred Spring also can perform as a source of drinking water and also uh, for another domestic uses uh, be, uh, beside the, uh, it used on the ritual based uh, ceremony or a spiritual aspect of that sacred spring. So we can say that uh, if we can uh, have uh, or we maintain the sacred spring, it can uh, supply or it can uh, be a substitute for uh, another source of drinking water. Study limitation in this study is there are a number of limitations in this study, although the items that we include do not represent the definitive content of water-related knowledge. Member of the water sector, uh, this groundwater sector, identified them as important. While we uh, focus on one aspect that determines the success of indigenous community participation, it's crucial to note that organizational characteristics like confidence in institution uh, in this study is an indigenous institution can also have an impact. Uh, maybe uh, the indigenous institution here is the Desa Adat. I mean, uh, like Ibulila who stated that Suba Abian in here, uh, indigenous institution in this study is Desa Adat. Finally, because uh, our study was cross-section, you know, it was impossible to determine the causality of the connections, the impact of knowledge building intervention on policy support and greater engagement should be evaluated in future studies. The conclusion of this study, um, that this study has analyzed how respondents knowledge and attitude regarding water resource management our sacred spring is being impacted by demographic and socioeconomic factors. Binary logistic regression model was used to assess willingness to participate in sacred springs conservation programs. The results show that willingness to participate are being impacted more significantly by indigenous knowledge and method that applied when water supply is limited. Because knowledge of water management issues inform attitudes, um, better awareness and targeted extension support are required in the formation and execution of policy decisions. Uh, they must be developed and implemented. Although this study has underlined the need for targeted extension services and awareness, future education-based intervention must focus on specific policy decision <coughs> Sorry, and indigenous groundwater management methods rather than just sharing knowledge and creating awareness to achieve water sustainability. <coughs> Sorry, that's all about my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, you Amrita. If you would like to go grab a glass of water, I think that's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so uh, I invite comments and question to uh, for this session to Ibu Amrita. There is uh, one in the chat box from Ibu Tri Sulistianing Astuti. Curious, who have more knowledge, respondent that live in rural, suburban, or urban? Um, before you respond to that, I am also curious in the makeup of your respondents. Um, how many indigenous Balinese, for example, did I miss that? Uh, did I miss that explanation? I didn't seem to uh, see that. And uh, more curious whether um, the people who have no knowledge are actually indigenous Balinese. 
So that's from me. And I see there is no hand raised yet. So you can also raise your hand if you would like to ask a question. Oh, uh, but in the meanwhile, Ibu Amrita, silakan if you, you would like to ask, uh, address this pertanyaan from Ibu Tri. Is it who has more knowledge? Responded that live in rural, suburban, or urban, and I had my related question: Is it uh, who are the respondents? Um, what percentage are Balinese, and are they also more knowledgeable or compared to the rest of the uh, uh, respondents? Okay. Thank you for uh, the question for the response um, about. Uh, Ibu Lydia, um, sorry, I, I miss uh, I miss uh, one part of Ibu Lydia's question. Can you explain more about the question? Sorry, my question or Ibu yeah. Tris, my question yeah. about the characteristic of the respondents. I guess what percentage are Balinese and also um, about knowledge itself. Uh, are the Balinese more knowledgeable than the rest of the respondents who oh. are not indigenous uh, okay okay sorry uh our respondent in uh this research is full balinese okay so uh the uh, difference is uh just uh, they, they all balinese but uh are they uh, involved in indigenous village activity or not that's the difference with, uh, in our respondents Okay. Okay, Bolivia. Thank you. Yeah. And from oh. uh, Ibu Tri is uh, who has more knowledge, respondent that live in rural, suburban, or urban? Okay. Um, interesting question from Ibu Tri. Um, in this research, we have found that uh, it's not about the place that you live, but it's about uh, are you uh, involved in the sorry in the activity of indigenous activity usually uh, we found that people uh, in rural and also urban area have uh, the uh, same knowledge about the sacred springs they stated that they know about the sacred springs uh, sacred spring here uh, we are uh, 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 sorry the balinese said that sac sacred spring as a uh, temple also have temple in the sacred springs so whether they know about uh, that temple or any anything that related to the temple uh, to the sacred springs it's not about that you live in rural or suburban or urban but uh, are you uh like uh have the knowledge about that and are you uh involved in the activity of indigenous activity like that okay so i see that ibu uh, lila has a question in the chat box if you would like to post your question directly ibu bisa juga the question is the potential endogeneity problem in the research, in the model, and how you control it. Okay. Mm, maybe uh, interesting question. Sorry, maybe uh, interesting question. Interesting question from Ibu Lila Rahmanintias here about the endogeneity problems. I think um, it can it it can be helped if we have uh, like indigeneity problems in uh, this model. But uh, I think it will be uh, an interesting uh, thing to solve in the future research. Maybe we can use another like another analysis, another method to solve the problem. Um, not with the binaural logistic regression maybe, but we can use another uh, method to overcome these indignity problems. I think that's my 
answer to Ibu Lila? Yeah, it's a bit uh, it's a bit problematic because you would assume that those who are uh, uh, members in the conserving the sacred water would be automatically interested in uh, in future conserving. Is that what you mean, Ibu Lila? The yeah, heterogeneity I mean, problem that you mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, before we decide what uh, variable we use, um, it would be better you. Go back again to the uh, 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 theory mm -hmm. that you will use for uh, uh, to develop the model to avoid uh, the problem of endogeneity. Of course, we ca we cannot neglect that problem. We still have that problem, but at least by considering the theory, uh, you can minimize it. And maybe from the technical analysis, yeah, for logit, there is one um, way to check whether you have a neutrinity problem or not. Robit or logit is the same. So uh, back to the uh, theory to develop the model because it's also uh, the cognitive theory. You can return to back again to the cognitive theory and then uh, develop the model and then after you get the data and run, you check whether you have a problem, still have a problem or not. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for the suggestion, Ibalila. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, another uh, question in the chat box, Ibu Igaa Apsari, would you like to ask the question directly or should I just read it? Oh, hi. Um, yeah, maybe I just uh, asked uh, Bu Amrita directly. Uh, okay, Bu Amrita, um, I'm just curious, what do you think about the relation of people's willingness to be involved in the sacred springs? Uh, uh, because there's a difference between the urban and rural areas. Uh, what if what if there is a relation between their occupations? I mean, if they're working in a time constrained jobs, just, uh, such as the tourism industries, um, maybe they don't want to be involved or maybe they don't have the time or, or you know uh, you know what i mean yeah uh thank you for the questions Absari. uh interesting questions i think um it has uh like uh, sorry the the jobs with the willingness to participate i think you can uh, say that here um with time constrained jobs, maybe in the tourism industry and etc. Uh, here they can, uh, they say that they uh, willing to participate in this program, but not with the, like uh, they really, really involved in person in their uh, program, but they like support the program by maybe uh, they willing to, um, donate some uh, money to the program and it will help uh, people in uh, people who uh, who a committee of the program to manage the program um, and also to uh, govern the program that uh, they, it can running well i think uh, that's my uh, answer to ibu apsari Thank you. I think that's a great input, actually, to look at the um, occupation and time spent to see, you know, uh, uh, amount of time on spent on conservation activity, conserving um, water uh, uh, conservation activities can be a proxy for their willingness to uh, to conserve and to conserve the water rather than uh, like explicit mention about uh, willingness to do so, but look at their time spent and uh, different occupation mm. uh, method. So okay. that uh, is now almost six o'clock. I think I will close this session. Thank you very much, everyone, for your great uh, presentations. I, I really have learned so much. Uh, it's an area that is also of interest to me. So it's good to see all the 
uh, research being done. Um, let's do a group photo before you we close the session. And this is like all female team. Love it. Um, if others uh, attendees would like to show their video, maybe we can do a group photo. Um, I'll take one right now. And uh, anybody else who would like to be involved in the photo, turn on your camera. No one else? Okay. One, two, three, water. <laughs> All right. Thank you again. Um, good luck with the rest of your, your research. I will see you around in the UFA application. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Yes.